responding to a tractor trailer inside of a construction like new home development that tried to turn around and got tied up around a uh, fire hydrant. Don't ask questions, that's all I gotta say. Bruh. Everybody. Thanks for tuning in. It is uh, Wednesday, June 1st at 11.44 a.m. Uh, I just got back from Fontana. Uh, I took a water truck up to Fontana that had a uh, <laughs> thief's cut the, um, what's it called? The, they were think, they thought they cut out the catalytic converter, but they actually cut out the DEF uh, filter, like the um, after treatment exhaust filter system. So yeah, big mistake on them, which sucks because it's actually going to be more expensive for my customer to uh, to repair their truck because they got to replace that DEF system as opposed to a catalytic converter. Anyway, I uh, just got back from that. Now we're back here in the yard, going to be uh, responding to a tractor trailer inside of a construction like new home development that tried to turn around and got tied up around a uh, fire hydrant. So we're responding in the rotator uh, to lift this tractor and trailer, probably just the tractor though, lifting the tractor away from the uh, fire hydrant. And then we might have to pull him out because he might be stuck, I don't know yet. But we will know when we get on scene. So this should be a good one. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys and hopefully you enjoy the show. All right guys, we're just getting on scene here. Looks like it's a whole fiasco. So let's go ahead and walk up there and see what we're dealing with here. Alrighty, well, here's the situation. Don't ask questions, that's all I gotta say. Um, at this point, we're on standby, waiting on the water district because they don't want us touching this, any of this mess oh, until, standby, you said. until this uh, fire hydrant is cleared, probably turned off, and then there, you know, there's a water district representative here watching the whole thing, but it looks like they tried to cut this corner to miss the construction traffic here, and the ground is soft here, sunk in. Now they're up against this uh, fire hydrant. Bruh. Alright, so we're backing ourselves up to the uh, to the front of the truck. The plan is to, we just got approval from the water district, the plan is to set up right in front of it and uh, we're going to use the rotator. We're going to kind of offset the boom so that as soon as this thing comes up and off the ground, the, uh, sorry, hang on, uh, so that as soon as that thing comes off the ground, it's already swinging away from that fire hydrant. So we're going to have, gonna have like a, not, not a bad angle, but like like we're gonna account for that. We don't want to go straight up on this. We want to kind of slide it away from the away from the uh, fire hydrant before we go um, completely airborne with it. So that's the plan. We're gonna back ourselves up to it and uh, get the show on the road. And see what happens. All right, let's get to work. PTO control power out of here. All right, so next we got to get clear of this sign. So I'm literally just gonna pull it away from here. Won't take much. Make sure this sheave doesn't hit my
here we go, guys. Hey guys, just watch out in case something breaks. I don't want anything going towards. He's good there. Spinning? Did it move or no? Wants to. Oh. And get wrench on, drop the airbag, and slip the kid wheel. That's about it. Um, hit that ATC spin right there. No, track track field, yeah. yeah, try just try that real easy. He is still stuck. I gotta winch him out of the hole that he's in now. Just be advised. Alright, so he's still stuck. So we're gonna have to yank him out real quick. that see if we're gonna use the cables to lift it or just the underlift we'll see we'll get go ahead and get out there and check that out so stay tuned for that and then uh, after that we're gonna go ahead and just do a simple winch out I guess that they got holding uh, so starting to pan out to be a busy afternoon so let's go ahead and uh, get to work those dive so let's go ahead and take a look see what, see what the plan is here any idea on the weight uh, approximate 28 bands or a thousand pounds so 28,000 So are we setting it down or are you putting a tractor under it? Yeah, I want, I want to you want to get under it? Lift in and I guess move it back so I can get into it. Yeah. Got it. Um, so my thought is we'll get you on this side okay. and then I'll set up right here next to it. I'll lift it straight up and then you'll be able to back under it. Does that sound yeah. like a plan? Yeah. yeah? All right, cool. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to have him do is pull past it and then uh, I'm going to have to lift it. I'm going to have to get really high up above it and lift it straight up from the from the sides. And then he can get back under it. All right, so I gave myself enough room to get out full platform here. Last time I did one of these, it I, I wasn't working with this good of conditions. I was like right off the corner and it was it was heavy. It, the truck definitely felt it. This one will be a lot better. We'll be right where we need to be, right here, right off the side. So should be okay. Let's go ahead and fully extend outriggers. Knowing that that pad sunk, we're gonna put outrigger pads for sure. Then on 
this side. I'm just gonna try to get out as much as I can. It's the non lift side, so I'm not too worried about it, but we got a little bit of room, so might as well squirt it out. Probably where we want to be. So the concept here is we're going to use this to hook into the trailer pocket and then this link to join the strap to the chain. The reason I'm going to use this over a shackle is because the shackle's got that big screw that sticks out and it'll punch into the side of the trailer. Ask me how I know. This is my preferred method now. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, my camera overheated there at the end, but I, I knew we got the action. So that's that's all that mattered. Just the putting away got cut out, but there he goes. Whew. Customer is on his way. Uh, now we got another winch out holding, like I said earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what that's all about. All right, guys. There's the job. Loaded set of doubles. Nosed into the desert. Honestly, I'm not even gonna record because it's hot and uh, this one's gonna be kind of a pain. So. I will show you the after effects, but we are here. This is what we're dealing with. Like you see, it's in kind of nose in the desert. Tricky thing with doubles, you can't really pull them backwards and you gotta be very careful jackknifing them. And the best angle we can get is right there at the corner of the palm tree. So we're gonna have to drag that tractor around before it even starts coming out. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and not record this, but uh, this is what we got. Did I got really close to him and did a short pull. Kind of got him out of the initial hole and side pulled the tractor around and now I think we're in a good spot. I'm happy where we're at now. Alrighty, he's out. It was actually a lot easier and simpler than I thought. I should have I should have captured the time. You guys probably saw it. It probably only took me 10 minutes. Um, I really thought it was gonna be more of a big deal because of uh, how how like basically we were like 90 degree, even maybe even more offset from his front end. So we had to drag that whole front end around quite a ways before it started putting some uh, math on the trailer and bringing the trailer out. But we got him. So I gotta get some info off the truck, but uh, we're gonna go back up to him and get that. Alrighty y'all, well, we're uh, we're back at the yard. It is um, 3.23, I'm probably gonna go home, eat some lunch, rest up a little bit. I am on the on-call guy tonight, so got to rest of it while you can you know um so with that being said hopefully you guys did enjoy the video uh i realized that most of the time lately it's been equipment moves and stuff like that um unfortunately i don't have a choice on what we do um so right now equipment's hot we got uh six landall trailers now running um we're staying busy so the you know we gotta got to work where, where, where it's busy so don't get me wrong the wreckers are staying plenty busy too but um, lately that's what we've been doing a lot of equipment a lot of equipment so um, I realize that's not everyone's cup of tea but I appreciate you guys sticking with me hopefully today's video was a little bit of a, a different you know taste of what we do with the rotator a couple rotator jobs um, and good rotator jobs I'm happy with them so uh, with that being said I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always like comment, subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought about the video we will see you on the next one thanks for watching